Well, it was just one living hope all the time, thinking she'd come home and... I, I was sat with my coat on for about three months, waiting for daylight to come to run out and see if I can fi could find her. I was just crying and crying and thinking about what had happened in my mind. And I kept thinking about it and I couldn't sleep through thinking about it and it built up and built up and I think that's what caused it, my nervous breakdown. I was in hospital and I remember my husband saying that Pauline had been found. I remember them I had two nurses brought me home to the funeral. I remember everything about the funeral, everything. I, rem I remember following the coffin and she was, she was of the flowers and I remember people putting flowers on, throwing flowers down and I remember putting the dust on Pauline and put me a flower on. Well, it was as years went on, I was saying my prayers about it and it seemed to lift me like a cloud come you know, like a cloud lifting off my shoulders and I f began to feel more pleasant about it. Although I never forgot her, never forgot her any day. Even now, I think about her every day. And the way she had to go. It's never to be forgotten that. Never. And I know how Mrs Jansen feels and I know how she will feel if, if ever she did find Keith which I hope she does.